Welcome to APW Exclusive. <laughs> All right. We have the Model 3 Limited Unicorns right now. All right. Let's yeah. see. What's so cool about it, Denny? All right. So, as you guys know, this is Tesla's first attempt trying to make an affordable car for the mass market. Uh, this model, what is it? Uh, $55,000? Uh, with options. With options, yeah. uh, which you're forced to get right now. Um, but basically, it's kind of cute. You know, Tesla's a tech company, so obviously they're tech-focused in a lot of their features. And you'll notice here on the dash, there is no dash. Pretty much no buttons anywhere except these two knobs and the windows and the door handles. So everything is on this touchscreen here, which you pull up here. So you got... The one thing that's really great is the touchscreen is pretty responsive on this thing. Um, you'll see pretty much no lag, which is something Tesla's known for with their touch displays. And I think I've heard people say that this model, the touch display, is even more responsive than on the S. Mm. Yeah. Regenerative braking. So, Shar, you were mentioning when you were first driving this car that standard was pretty aggressive, right? Correct. You could pretty much do driving Correct. just with one pedal. Uh, you don't even need to use the brakes most of the time. Right, just... lifting my foot up from the gas pretty much slows the car down almost to a stop pretty quickly. Exactly. So um, you can get some pretty fuel, not fuel efficient driving, but electric efficient driving with that, which is great. All right, so getting in the Model 3, easy peasy. You get a, that special Tesla card. The mirrors fold out for you. The mirrors fold out. Let's take a look at some Tesla Easter eggs. Right here, this little Tesla button up top. And there you go, you get to see Elon Musk's future. And then uh, there's a little unicorn. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's a drawing board. Very cool. Aha, uh -huh, you can enable and disable Santa mode using voice command ho ho ho. How hilarious. Let's activate that. High quality, you can tell it's a little stiff, right Jai? Yeah. It's a little bit rough, uh, it doesn't quite absorb all the bumps. The roads here are not great, so it's a great test for that, so you can feel that. I'd say it's probably on par with probably, uh, what do you think compared to your Audi? My Mercedes? I'd say it's a little stiffer than my Audi. Yeah, Audi? My Audi's stiff like uh, at speed, but just regular, it's not too bad. Yeah, like we're not going too fast here, and you can still feel the bumps. I thought the speedometer on the screen would be an issue, but it's really not. Um, I can so easily glance on the right thing. side. It's honestly no worse than glancing straight down to see your speedometer. Um, so that's, that's a good relief. Judd, you want to show us how to play the music? Apparently they use this new, uh, it's not Spotify. It's, um, it starts with a B, right? Slacker oh, Radio. Oh, yes, Slacker uh, Radio. Sure. Don't quite understand that, but... Here's the stations here, and we also have, it looks like a podcast uh, available here. So if you just hit the station, listen to... Super cool. What if you hit that search button? I think, what can search we search songs, for? Search songs, albums, artists, podcasts, or stations. Cool. It's interesting. Uh... I like how they have the speed limit thing there, you know, directly above the speed, um, especially when you're filming, so... See him always at the, the speed limit, never yeah. drive me over. Of uh, course not. Hey, yeah, never. sure. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's tilt the camera up a little bit here for this part. The best thing about this yeah, car is visibility. Uh, let's do a 360 of this car. Visibility is amazing. There we go. The room feels nice and airy because of this glass roof. That's yeah. fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, this is. 
Yeah, I'd say this drives just about as good as the Model S and probably more so than the Model X because of the high center of gravity. I think this is, well. Yeah, this is actually a pretty fun car um, overall. See that you get these little USB ports in the back. And How convenient. For the price.